Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to look at how we can quickly and easily draw walls within our S-frame model. Now this whole process revolves around the process of building panels that can then be meshed uh, using shell elements to represent the physical properties of our walls. And the workflow that I'm going to describe revolves around the use of grids. They'll come in handy for this particular process. So I'm going to turn on the display of my grids using this Edit Grids dialog. And I can display my equal spacing one meter grid and use that as a guide for laying out my geometry. With the grids enabled now, I can go to the panel element tool. If I left click and look at the data bar at the top of the screen, I'm brought to the option where I can select my pattern. And here I'm going to enter my wall panel pattern. I've entered a height of five meters. I can also enter details on the thickness, which I'll say is 300 millimeters, and also choose my material, which I'm going to choose as a concrete material. And our mesh properties can also be defined. Now we have other videos on the topics of mesh and mesh properties and how to generate mesh and so on. So I'm not going to talk about that in too much detail today. But I am going to just accept these parameters by clicking on the OK button on the left side of the screen. And from that, I can simply draw my, uh, my walls. So I can left click where I'd like to start my wall panel. And then left click again where I want to end it. And keep doing that until I've generated all the wall panels that I need. Now these particular wall panels, uh, they also have what we call wall integration lines at the top and the bottom of them. We haven't generated any shells yet, but once we generate the shells and we run our analysis, we can use those wall integration lines to extract the forces, uh, integrate the forces that will be used for the design of these walls uh, at specific locations. And these are generated for us automatically using this process. Now I could go ahead and mesh my panel by clicking on the mesh panel elements of type membrane plate or shell button here, or I can go to the mesh menu and I can say Mesh Panel Elements, or use the Control w shortcut. Now we can see when I meshed, it's generated the mesh, uh, and it's asking us for approval. If we're had a, happy with it, we can click the Yes button and proceed on with our analysis. Otherwise, we can click the No button and redo our parameters, uh, maybe modify a few things, and retry. I'm going to click Yes. And with that, we have the geometry that would represent our wall in this case. For more information about meshing or fine element analysis in general, you'll be able to find more details on this YouTube channel by searching for meshing within S-Frame. You can also visit the Altair 1 Learning Management System, where we have lots of more information related to creating meshes, modifying meshes, running analysis, looking at results, and more. So I encourage you to take a look.